dear viewer, it's been a minute. Welcome to another exciting episode on the Sunday Star Feature, or as I like to call it, SSF. In this present economy, and with the current realities in Nigeria, is eating on a budget possible? Well, as we all know, next to water, food is an essential part of human life and human existence, which ensures for growth, supplies strength, and helps maintain health. While a lot of people prefer home-cooked meals, they might not always be accessible for one reason or the other, so eating out becomes the next option. Restaurants, fast food joints, and online food vendors help supply this convenience conveniently. However, due to the current economic situation in the country, some people might not be able to afford the luxury of eating at an expensive place or ordering food from food vendors. And that is where the local restaurants come in, where you can eat on a budget. In this episode on Sunday Star Feature, Mrs. Messi enlightens us on the local restaurant business, otherwise known as Buka or Mama Put. Here, eating on a budget is not just possible, but easily accessible. Well, my name is, um, I'm Uchi Messi by name, and I do say soft drinks, as you can see, it, and also Mama Put uh, food. I do say lapu. Gari, semo, amala, and also rice and porridge beans, as well as bread and minerals. I actually I started last uh, four years ago, and why the reason of my starting is that I don't want to like stay high though. At least let me be start from somewhere to enable the children to be fed. And by His grace, I am a uh, God is helping us through the business who, who can feed and also pay a school fees of the children. When I started this, I started with like 3,000. That time things are not like like this. So I went to buy even a little mudu, uh, that is half mudu of beans. I started with beans and bread. I did not start with food, this thing like this. So when I think that I, through then, I was able to like add rice. I, I started with like, even half mood of rice, half mood of uh, of beans. Even like apple, I did a little, not because of as a starting, so that let it not be as if maybe when I cook it, it will waste. So I started with the, the low key, like a real seed. So through the the little one that I had, that's why I, I it increased every day. I was able to cook up to like five mood of beans, of as well as even the rice. Other things are also increasing through the business. When I started this, the customer come like joke, like play along the line. I was able to put up, even when I even started, I did not even start in this way, but by his grace, I am where, to, where I am now. She offers a variety of meals to her customers at affordable prices, which makes them happy and come back for more. I do say rice. Mama puts food in Charlie. I just say porridge beans, bread, amala, uh, say more, even as well as pandi, I, I do say yam too. All of this thing I say. They are not forthcoming because of the economic but The little ones that are coming, we still also continue with those ones. While we are looking upon God for help, to, for, 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 to help for his help. That makes me to reduce the the, the quantity I was made in before. It seems like yes, as if maybe I will go back for the starting but because of the economy. Because why many that I do come with a little amount, some of them they cannot afford to buy again. Due to that, there's some, there, it's reducing more than before. Even why I was saying that I was getting up to like several mood, uh, several mood quantity but now it's only two three that I could because of the way things are also high. Mrs. Mercy spoke about her choice of location among other things. I stay opposite my my shop that's how I choose it to enable me not to waste all my the transport fare or every other thing that can make the uh, the income to be really reducing. She spoke on the challenges she faces in the business the economic are very tough, but as as our 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 country cannot dodge from it, if not, I can say that 
it's very, very affecting. The way customers come before they cannot come because of the way we buy things. Even when I started it, I started with when they bought a mood of beans of 600, 700. But now it increased to 2,200. So due to that, even the poor masses, even the ones that are with 300, 400, that cannot afford to pay the, this thing again, that also affects us in the business. But with, by God's grace, we are still moving on. We cannot dodge from it again. So we are bearing it. Like the first time I started to do, even with 300, we can sell beans and bread. 400, we can sell beans and bread. That's for this time. Even the apple, we sell even 200, 152. But now that things are increasing, that's why we also increase it. Now it's, the plate of food is like 650, 700 now. The challenge is that even when we went from, to market, with even like that time, if I went with 10,000, because I was able to even carry 10,000 or 20,000 to, I can get many things in the market, in the, in the large quantity. But now if I carry up to that kind of money, it will just like a poly, uh, this pack of sack of a thing that I will return with, as if I lost money because of the way things are. That is the challenge we are facing. The environment is that I don't have a shop, I don't have, I use umbrella, as you can see. I used to umbrella to cope, even where I am now. I was like pleading the person who is in charge of it to help me so that I can build even if they, if it is a bacha. But he said no. So even when rain are falling now, it will find it difficult to pack in and out. We we'll use leather to cover it. There are many challenges on this uh, era that environment I, I is. Well the the kind of help I need if it, if I can if I can see someone that can help me. Uh, at that can assist me in getting a shop or even if it is uh, anywhere that I can get apart from me or me and me nearby here so that it will enable me to to stand in something that when I rain for I will not be run extra scatter like that. That is the challenge I'm having. If I can if I can see anyone that can help me like that I will be very much grateful on that area. Mrs. Messi's Buka is a place for not just affordable meals, but also a taste of tradition. Thank you for watching today's episode. See you soon on the next episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Sir? Cool down. No, sir. I want to say something. <laughs>